hey everyone welcome back to my channel i'm nurse miriam and i'm here to help you conquer the nclex one topic that tends to pop up a lot on the exam is pharmacology which can feel overwhelming with so many drugs to remember but don't worry you got this in this video you'll get a crash course on nclex must know drugs their side effects and safe administration tips to help you pass with confidence we'll cover everything from antibiotics to cardiac meds to psych drugs breaking down complex concepts into easy to understand chunks so grab your notes get comfy and let's dive into the world of NCLEX pharmacology let's kick things off with antibiotics a group of medications you'll definitely see on the NCLEX these are your go-to weapons against bacterial infections but they come with their own set of considerations remember the NCLEX loves to ask about allergies side effects and patient teaching so listen closely first up we have the penicillins like amoxicillin and penicillin G these are usually well tolerated but can cause allergic reactions ranging from mild rashes to life-threatening anaphylaxis always always ask your patients about any history of penicillin allergy next we have the cephalosporins such as ceftriaxone and cefazolin these are structurally similar to penicillin so cross allergy is a concern another important point to remember is that some cephalosporins can interfere with alcohol metabolism leading to a disulfiram like reaction make sure to educate your patients about this moving on to macrolides like erythromycin and azithromycin these are generally safe but can cause GI upset so advise patients to take them with food if tolerated also be aware that macrolides can prolong the QT interval potentially leading to dangerous heart rhythms now let's talk about tetracyclines such as doxycycline and minocycline these are broad spectrum antibiotics but can cause photosensitivity so tell your patients to avoid sun exposure and wear protective clothing tetracyclines can also stain developing teeth so they're generally avoided in pregnant women and young children aminoglycosides like gentamicin and tobramycin are powerful antibiotics but can be toxic to the kidneys and ears monitoring kidney function and hearing is crucial when administering these drugs last but not least we have the fluoroquinolones such as ciprofloxacin and levofloxacin these are effective against a wide range of bacteria but can have serious side effects including tendon rupture and QT prolongation remember guys when it comes to antibiotics always obtain a thorough medical history including allergies monitor for side effects and provide clear patient education now let's stay into the world of diuretics those essential medications that help us manage fluid overload and control blood pressure the NCLEX exam often focuses on electrolyte imbalances and patient safety related to diuretic therapy so pay close attention first up other loop diuretics like furosemide and bimetanide these are powerful diuretics that work in the loop of Henle in the kidneys they're often used for rapid fluid removal in conditions like heart failure and pulmonary edema. However, loop diuretics can lead to potassium loss, so monitoring potassium levels and teaching patients about potassium-rich foods is crucial. Next, we have thiazide diuretics such as hydrochlorothiazide and clothalidone. These are commonly used 
to treat hypertension and mild fluid retention. Like loop diuretics, thiazides can also cause potassium loss, so monitoring electrolytes is essential. Moving on to potassium sparing diuretics like spironolactone and triamterene, as their name suggests, these diuretics help conserve potassium, making them a good option for patients at risk of hyperkalemia. However, it's important to monitor potassium levels closely as hyperkalemia can occur, especially in patients with kidney problems. Now let's talk about some important nursing considerations for diuretics. Always check your patient's blood pressure before administering diuretics as they can cause hypotension. Monitor intake and output carefully to assess the effectiveness of therapy and watch for signs of dehydration. Another key point is to educate your patients about the importance of taking their diuretics as prescribed and reporting any side effects. Encourage them to weigh themselves daily and report any significant weight gain or loss, as this could indicate fluid retention or dehydration. Also advise patients to take their diuretics in the morning to prevent nighttime urination or nocturia, which can disrupt sleep. Remember, diuretics are powerful medications that require careful monitoring and patient education. By understanding their mechanisms of action, side effects, and nursing considerations, you'll be well prepared to answer those NCLEX questions with confidence. Chapter 3, Cardiac Medications, Keeping That Heart Pumping Strong. Let's dive into cardiac medications crucial for managing heart conditions. Beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, nitrates and digoxin. Each has unique effects on heart rate, blood pressure and overall heart health. Monitor patients closely and educate them on lifestyle changes. Understanding these will help you ace the NCLEX. Chapter 4 Psych Meds Navigating the Mind and the NCLEX. Psych medications are crucial for managing mental health conditions. Understand their effects, interactions, and nursing considerations. SSRIs like floxetine and sertraline treat depression and anxiety. They increase serotonin levels in the brain. TCAs like amitriptyline treat depression and chronic pain. MAOIs like phenylzine require dietary restrictions. Antipsychotics like haloperidol treat schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Lithium stabilizes mood in bipolar disorder. Monitor patients for side effects and educate them on adherence. Be aware of drug interactions and encourage patients to inform their healthcare provider of all medications. Understanding these medications helps you provide safe care and ace the NCLEX. Outro Pharmacology Mastered. You got this, and there you have it, a crash course on must-know NCLEX pharmacology. Remember, the key to mastering pharmacology is understanding the why behind each drug, its mechanism of action, and how it affects the body. As a quick recap, always remember these general NCLEX pharmacology safety tips. Check the five rights of medication administration Closely monitor your patient's vital signs and lab results. Thoroughly teach your patients about medication adherence and potential side effects. Be able to recognize high-risk medications and never assume. Always verify unclear orders with the prescribing healthcare provider. And here's a bonus NCLEX tip. If the question involves patient safety, choose the answer that involves 
assessing the situation first then acting remember assessment is always key now go out there and rock that NCLEX. Don't forget to download your free ultimate NCLEX study guide from nursecareerblueprint.com for even more pharmacology tips and tricks. Good luck. You got this.